Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a full look at the brand new Nerf Pro Gelfire Igniter. This blaster is supposed to launch in spring 2024, but we got our hands on it early. The blaster is shipping with 1000 rounds, is for ages 14 plus, and is claiming up to 150 FPS. Let's open this thing up and see what you get in this $10 package. Included in the box, we of course have the Nerf Pro Gelfire Igniter itself. We get eye protection, which is of course very important, and 1000 official Nerf Gelfire rounds. Now going over the blaster, we see that it features two rival style rails. These are also on the Nerf Pro blasters, Hyper, and uh, they're pretty much the 14 plus rail that Nerf uses, or rather the rail they use on all their competitive blasters. Right here we have the blaster safety. If you push from the left hand side, your blaster is safe. And when you push from the right, you're ready to fire. Now right here we have the hopper, and right here is the hopper door. To open the door, you simply pull up. The hopper opening is pretty narrow, but I think it'd be pretty easy to load with a funnel. This hopper door makes it look like a super soaker, which is kind of funny. This hopper has a capacity of 60 rounds, which is more than the original speculated 30 round capacity. Now right down here, we have the priming handle. Just like a jolt, you're going to pull this down. And unlike a knockout, you do not need to push it back up. So assuming your safety's off, you can pull the trigger. The plastic quality feels about on par with the other gel fire blasters, pretty good stuff, and the ergonomics are mm, not the best, but not the worst. It feels a lot like the knockout, which is to say this grip is very huge because it has the whole plunger tube housed in there, but not terrible by any means. The blaster's appearance feels a little less refined than the other gel fire blasters, like kind of skeletal in some areas, but as a $10 blaster and as the jolt to the gel fire line, I think this is actually pretty okay. Now let's load this thing up take it outside and see if it hits that 150 FPS claim. So here we are outside with the Nerf Pro Gelfire Igniter. We will be firing official Nerf Gelfire rounds. 148, 146, duplicate 146, duplicate two 146, 147, 145, duplicate 145, and that is 115, but I will discard it because it double fed that time. So when we take that double fed 115 off, we see that the average is very close to 150. I think the box claim is pretty fair. Now let's fire some shots down range. And we are out. After a couple shots, I thought we were misfeeding for a second, but it looks like it was just empty. Firing performance is pretty good, and as long as you hold the blaster upright, feeding seems to be excellent. So what are my final thoughts on the Nerf Pro Gelfire Igniter? If you're not against gel blasters, I think for $10, this is a very nice little pistol. The 60 round capacity is exceptionally low for a gel blaster, but considering the size of this blaster, I think it's pretty great. The two rails are a nice touch if you want to use them, and the performance is not half bad, especially considering that the Legion cannot hit these numbers stock. So while this thing isn't changing the game, in any radical sense, I definitely will give it a thumbs up. If you do want to check out the igniter for yourself, I will have the link in my description. Thank you very much for watching. I would love to hear your thoughts on the igniter. Let me know if you have any questions, subscribe for more, and happy blasting!